Well, welcome to MBAA here in Las Vegas. Uh, my name is Adam Gagne with Honda Aircraft Company. I'm the Senior Director of Marketing. Uh, we're really excited to be here today uh, for the launch of the Honda Jet 2600 concept. Uh, an all-new aircraft that we introduce here today uh, that will be the uh, world's first transcontinental light jet. So we're really excited. It has a range of uh, 2,600, 25 nautical miles, hence the, the concept name Honda Jet 2600. Uh, it's going to offer a maximum cruise altitude of 47,000 feet, maximum cruise speed of 450 knots. Um, so we believe it, uh, it, it really defines the category of light jet and provides more of a mid-size experience and performance. So we'll go in and take a look at the cabin and talk a little bit about some of the new features of the aircraft. So come on in. So here we are inside the cabin of the Honda Jet 2600. Uh, the thing to know about the design for this cabin is it's really designed around comfort and ergonomics for the long range missions that it will serve at that 26, 25 nautical mile uh, range. So comfort for us is defined in multiple ways. It goes beyond just what you see here in the cabin, which we'll talk about, um, but some things that you may not see, but as a passenger you will feel, we're very focused on. So it starts with our over the wing engine mount. By mounting the engines over the wing, what that does is it significantly reduces noise in the cabin as well as vibration. And then another class leading attribute of this aircraft will be that it will have the lowest cabin altitude in the category. So while cruising at 47,000 uh, feet, the cabin altitude will be uh, 6,363 feet. Uh, that number drops to, I believe, 6124 when we're cruising at 45,000 feet, which is where a majority of the other competition competes. So what that does is it gives you closer to an on-ground experience, really reducing fatigue when you're in the air for that long. Um, now, when we look at the things we can see, there's also a lot of improvements there. Uh, the 2600 will offer the highest cabin in the category, tallest cabin. It's 62 and a half inches. Uh, the width of the cabin is 61 inches. For those familiar with the Honda Jet today, that's roughly four and a half inches taller and about an inch wider. Uh, but one thing I would highlight on the width is we've taken our expertise in composite fuselage technology uh, kind of to the next level. Uh, we, we will not have a constant circle cross section. Um, we're able to elongate the fuselage, providing a lot more vertical space where it matters, notably here in the shoulders and here in the footwell. So I think that's something customers of the existing Honda Jet will really notice. Uh, similar to today's 420, we have about seven feet of space between uh, facing seats. So you can really comfortably seat with eight passengers here in the main cabin and not have uh, you know, significant foot interference and find a lot of comfort. Um, the seats themselves are a, a ground up redesign uh, specifically for this aircraft. Uh, they've got three levers, we've got a uh, foot rest, we've got, uh, you know, tracking, you can go full, full 180, you can, you can find whatever position you want to really get comfortable in the cabin for those long flights. So uh, we think it's a beautiful seat. Um, we've sat in them for a long time. They, they do prove to be very comfortable. Um, and so we're really excited to bring that uh, to the market as well. Uh, one of the innovations with the seat, you know, a lot of people when they look at flying long distances, you know, they may not just want to sit, they may want to lie down. So let's go back and we'll show you one of the innovations um, that we have here in the aircraft. So any facing seat in the dual club will feature this functionality, which is you can use the um, footrest that is here, I'm gonna trek it out a little bit, they go up. Well, what we've done is we've employed both of those footrests and provision for a really nice large bed. Um, now, the cool thing about this is you aren't sacrificing comfort while you're in the seated position um, because you don't have to lay on the back of the seat. We've, we're going to custom design a mattress that conforms with this design so it'll be really lightweight, easy to stow, um, and you'll be able to make up four beds in here and lie flat. And, you know, I'm about six feet tall and I can comfortably lay in this. Um, so I think it's a, it's a really great feature. Uh, just above your head there are two skylights um, that bring a lot more natural light into the cabin. We also have 
two skylights back here in the lavatory. Um, if you want to come back and take a look at the lavatory, the room does expand back there. Um, more headroom than the Honda Jet today and a larger uh, sink and vanity as well. So really the amenities you would expect on an aircraft like this. Uh, um, but what I do want to highlight is the access into the flight deck. So uh, we've given roughly three inches more headroom and it's also six inches um, more length front to back. So getting in and out of the seat is, is much easier. easier. There's a, a lot more space in here, especially for a, a jet of this category. Okay, so when we talked about spaciousness inside, that spaciousness also extends to the outside. So by having the engines mounted here on the wing, it frees up a lot more space in the cabin, but also in the cargo compartment. So I ask you to come around here and take a look uh, at this enormous cargo compartment. So 120 cubic feet of space um, double that of other aircraft in this category um, and as you can see here we've sort of highlighted some of the things you can bring so bikes surfboards golf clubs luggage you name it um, it'll fit so the nice thing is um, passengers really don't have to compromise on the luggage that they want to bring on these trips and we think that's a a really big benefit in terms of flexibility. No.